Today is Wednesday, December 6th, B-Day. I'm Cassandra Joseph. And I'm Josh Baker. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for some school announcements. If you would like your work to be considered for the 2018 publication of On My Mind, email it to either Miss Morris or Miss Normal by December 15th. The annual blood drive will be held on December 13th in the Lakeview Room from 2.30 to 7 p.m. Contact Mrs. Normile if you are interested. Gail Wins is looking for a talented artist to draw artwork and comics for the paper. Anyone interested should email Tomas Rodino or Ms. McGowan. And now over to an announcement from the Charitas Club. Hello. <clears throat> I'm Matt Vigna from the Charitas Club, also known as the John Stamos Cooking Club, and I'm here to talk about our toy drive. So we're looking for some toys. They can't be used toys. They have to be new toys. And all the toys are going to the Maria Ferreri's Children Hospital. And last year we donated over 600, nearly 700 toys. And uh, this year we're looking to donate 800. <coughs> 900. 1,000. New toys. New toys for Maria Ferreri's Children Hospital. So, uh, yeah, please donate. We want to break last year's record, and uh, it's a really great thing to do. So, uh, thank you. Thanks, guys. Attention all freshmen. If you're interested in participating in the Mark Napolitano Essay Scholarship Contest, please pick up an informational form in the main office. Mark was a 2008 graduate of Kennedy who tragically lost his life in a car accident, and this $1,000 scholarship to a worthy member of the class of 2021 will be in his memory. The Advent season is here. In addition to preparing our hearts for the birth of, our, of the Savior, our students have also been diligently preparing for their annual Christmas concert and holiday collections. Everyone is invited to the annual Christmas concert tonight at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Admission, admission is $10 per person or $20 per family, payable at the door. The evening will include Christmas music performed by our string ensemble, chorus performance, Four programs, brass ensemble, and band, including a first Noel sing along. Our warming, after warming your heart, warm your bellies with hot cocoa, cookies, and snacks in the Lakeview Room. We'll also have a 50 50 raffle that will stuff the stocking of our one lucky winner. To help get us all in the spirit of Christmas, the Kennedy Catholic Spirit Club is working with the Student Council on a homeroom door decorating contest for the holidays. Homerooms will compete for the best decorated door for a prize that is soon to be announced. Decorations for each door will focus on one of the four Christmas themes. Each grade in class will compete for the prize. Members of the Spirit Club and Student Council will be visiting homerooms to inform you about all the details this week. And now over to this day in history. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. I'm David Gould Mattis, and welcome to this day in history. On this day in 1849, Harriet Tubman escapes from slavery in Maryland for the second and final time. In 1939, the 5th Heisman Trophy Award goes to Niall Kinnick of Iowa. And lastly, in 1956, Nelson Mandela and 156 others are arrested for political activities in South Africa. That's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. Thank you, David. And in breaking news, President Donald Trump will recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital today, despite intense Arab, Muslim, and European opposition to a move that would upend decades of U.S. policy and risk potentially violent protests. It has been reported that Trump will instruct the State Department to begin the multi-year process of moving the American Embassy from Tel Aviv to the Holy City. And now over to our Rec Ball Recap with Greg. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to the Rec Ball Recap. My name is Greg Bran. Uh, in the Monday games, Team Bram was edged by Team Dooley 60-54. to Jack McBuckets picked up where he left off, dropping 40 points. Lena also had a big contribution for Team Dooley. For Team Brand, Miles had 18 points and Rec Ball's first ever dunk. In the Thursday games, Team Dorego will take on Team Ferrari. Look for big performances out of John Dorego and the shifty lefty Ferrari. Team Whalen takes on Team Alicio. This will be our first look at whether or not Ronan's team can work together for a win. Sweet Spot Skovic makes to look, uh, looks to make it rain. And in pop culture around the league, Ed Longus makes a fashion statement by rocking a full sweatsuit under his jersey and a Patriots beanie. And Vin Conti plays his first ever rec game without his joggers on. That's all for the Rec Ball Recap. Now back to the anchors. And for our featured stories, the nation's homeless population increased this year for the first time since 2010, driven by a surge in the numbers of people living on the streets in Los Angeles and other West Coast cities. 
The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development released the annual point-in-time count today, a report that showed nearly 554,000 homeless people across the country during local tallies conducted in January. That figure is up nearly 1% from 2016. A Hawaii woman is waiting to hear back from the Guinness World Record books to find out if the massive avocado she snagged is the world's largest. Pamela Wang of the Big Island found a five-pound avocado Sunday on a walk. I see avocados every day, and I pick up avocados every day, but this one was hard to miss, Wang said. It was as big as my head. Doesn't even look like an avocado. And now over to sports with Gibby. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Gibby with your sports. In the NFL, the Falcons will host the Saints Thursday at 825 on NBC. In the NBA, the Wizards beat the Trailblazers 106-92. Bradley Beal had 51 points. And the Thunder beat the Jazz 100-94. In the NHL, the Rangers beat the Penguins 4-3. Zuccarello had the first star with one goal and I believe one assist. Boys JV Basketball beat St. John's 59-45. Connor O'Reilly had 27 points and 10 rebounds. Freshman Miles Buckley had 22 points as well. Boys Varsity Basketball beat St. John's. I'm unsure of the score, but Jai led all scorers with 17 points. That's all for sports. Now back over to the anchors. Thank you, Gibby. Well, I'm Cassandra Joseph. And I'm Josh Baker. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.